you there. Let me bend your ear for a moment. Even more full of yourself than last time I see. The bigger the head, the badder the fall, my old man used to say. Walk around Rayclass with an attitude like that, and you're going to wind up in some undying's larder. Allow me to arrange the beating of some sense back into you. So here's how this works. You take a crack at me, your very best shot. I win. Best fun you can have on your feet! Too much clatter. Now here I was going on about your inflated head, but it was my head that got shrunk faster than a pair of testicles in an ice bath. I won't be underestimating you again in a hurry. Well now, don't the spirit of Deresso smile on you. I'm still his favorite, of course, but he's got plenty of love to go around. Speaking of sharing the love, come see me on your next jaunt into the San and Canton. I reckon we've got some talking to do. <laughs> Fighting is a necessity here in Rayclast. They come straight after breathing and right before eating on the how do I keep myself alive today list. Which reminds me, anytime you feel like a little pre-breakfast tussle, come and find me out there in San. I'll be happy to kick the sleep out of your eyes. Oh, and I'm not just good at killing people, you know. I'm also good at making things that kill people. It's a little hobby of mine, something I'm perfecting in preparation of hanging up my champion's mantle someday. And the funny thing is, the more killing I do, the more of a killing I make. You have to have the goods to make the goods, I suppose. Anyhow, I'm always happy to show off my wares, should you have the hankering. There's my favorite fighter. I've just been putting some finishing touches on a few martial bits and bobs. Rather nifty they are, if I do say so myself. In fact, I do believe I'm getting better at this frontier shopkeeper malarkey all the time. Certainly developing an eye for quality at any rate. Must be your good influence rubbing off me. So feel free to peruse my wares any time you like. Mates rates guaranteed. Do you know where the duelist tradition came from, Exile? The Ezemites. Early on, those western potato munchers worked out that war was a pretty bloody stupid idea. At least the wholesale slaughter side of it. So they fashioned themselves a tradition of championship. Here's how an Ezemite battle would go. Both sides get dressed up in their fiercest and finest war garb. They'd all prance about, banging drums and flinging curses at each other. Then when everyone was head up enough, a few chosen lads or lasses would step forward and fight it out. To the death, usually. The point of it all? My champions win, and I get to have that fish-filled estuary on my border. Your champions win, and I hand over a few hundred cows. Deal done, and most of us get to go home. The Eternals pinched the idea from the Ezemites, and the Oriathans pinched the idea from the Eternals. As fine as she is feral. That's Tora. Nice to watch from afar. Up close, I'm not a fan of claw marks on my ass.
Sometime soon, I'm going to teach Katerina the definition of rest in peace. Elrion has his battles, and I have mine. Yet we fight for the same god. The Karui have spent centuries perfecting the art of war, and Haku is one of their finest artists. Talamoana exile. Traversing the sewers under the river. I should have thought of that myself. Yet the more of a picture you paint of that undying concoction in the sewers, the less I want to see it. If you manage to destroy it, expect a storm of undeath to descend upon you. The dark is their home, and there'd be nowhere more homely to the undying than a pitch swayed drain under a river. This ribbon spool device, why would the Blackguards want to protect it? On this side of the river too. What is its import to them? And why have they not taken it back to their encampment? I give you only questions I know. You found it near the Solaris Temple? Then perhaps that's where you should look for your answers. Be well. Let me tell your future. Fate will find you. Not a cockroach. Strange. Inundated with cockroaches, I am. Black ones, four limbs, nasty, spiky things. Are you spiky? If so, my ribbons will pluck your spines. Malachi liked spines. Liked my spine. Pretty spine. Bejeweled and bountiful. Enough to make an empire weep. Do you weep, not a cockroach? I do. Tears are infinite. Why, on this very day, I've found a new reason to cry. 
What is that you have? Not a cockroach? My ribbon spool. Those black ones wanted them, my ribbons. Wanted to wrap the city in black ribbons. Now they are my ribbons forevermore. Forevermore. I hate forever. I could tear happy ever after from bard's bleeding tongues. You're still here, not a cockroach. Oh, gratitude, yes. I should give you a token. Token? What token? This? Is this to your liking? The cockroaches will come again. They want the twist. That cockroach emperor. The other bugs shout his name. Ravisius. Cross the river, squash the Emperor Cockroach in his nest. The bridge? It is barricaded. That spawns a tricky question. Questions. Questions. I asked too many questions. Chit has told me so. I asked where it all went. Our... feculence. He made them show me. Under the river. The sewers from this side to that. Filthy, fetid tunnels like a rower's cloaca. A black place. Crawling with the undying. Once beautiful and arrogant gemlings. Now the foul waste of the Empire. Fitting, isn't it? Apt. 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 I like you, not a cockroach. I like that you listen. It would annoy me if the undying murdered you. Thormetic sulfite. That's what you need. A nasty, nasty substance it is. Melakai had his slaves mine it. Carry it from northern mountains to the refinery by the docks. Ezemites, Maraketh, Karui. It killed them all, fevered the blood, and scorched the mind. But you are clever, not a cockroach. You will keep it at arm's length. You will bring it to me so that I may make you something. An infernal tulk that will bring furious light to undying darkness. I loved Malachi. He gave me gems, divine jewels for his gemling queen, for his dead queen. But I didn't want me dead. Malachi begged, for him, for the Empire. I chose me, selfish me. The Empire died, and I live. I live, and live, and live, and live. I was the Emperor's favorite for a time. But Chittus had many favorites. He filled the scepter of God with favorites. Every now and then, he cleared away the clutter. Those who pleased him, they were given to his lords and generals. Those who did not, were given to his thaumaturgists. I talked too much, asked too many difficult questions. I was gifted to Malachi. My dear, troubled Malachi. Leave me. Not a cockroach. Malachi, first Caso of Davini, 1329, I see. Pretty as porcelain, but her mouth spins like the potter's wheel. That's how I once described Diala. Yet on this day, my lady is as ravishing as a nightmare, radiant as the fullest moon. Diala is my gemling queen, and we shall rule side by side, over the world that will soon come to be. sable hours. By morning my fingers ached, my eyes burned, yet still I found no rest. The reverie commanded its rendering. The reverie device now stands completed. I've placed the first of my maps within its receptacle. I've taken my maiden voyage into nightmare. I know now that which sent me this precious gift. It knows me, 
expects my return. It would be foolish to disappoint. Malachi. Tear down the walls that imprison the mind. That is what the gems do. That is their true virtue. The moment my fingertips brushed the cool, silken plains of that first gem, I felt it. My skull ached as if its contents were growing, pressing against the bone, searching for a way to break free. That night, once the wine had dulled the pain enough to allow the onset of sleep, the dreams began. I have not been without them since, nor would I be. Every spark of thaumaturgy that I wield, every device that I forge, every creature that I transfigure, I owe to these lessons cloaked in nightmare. From whence do these precepts hail? Certainly not the mundane grey between my ears. I possess only one reference that bears faith. Translated with unquestionable clarity by that idiot savant, Isius Perandus, the beast. Duryani of the Val knew the truth. Soon now, so shall I. Malachi.